Now our forecast this weekend is going to be heavily uh, dependent on what 90L does. It's still just uh, low pressure at this point. We're waiting for the National Hurricane Center to either say it's a depression or a storm. Could certainly become Tropical Storm Wilford later on this afternoon, but you can see there the area of showers and storms just kind of sitting down here. North movement, three miles per hour. This like Sally is not moving right now. It's basically stationary at this point. It is getting strung out a little bit. It does not look as good as it did earlier. And you see there are those tall cloud tops, that white color. Those have gone away. So our thunderstorms are somewhat struggling as they get uh, stretched apart from some strong upper level winds to the north, but we still think this is going to become a depression if not already in this general area. So a high chance it come uh, becomes this later on today. Now what it does after that uh, is important because that could affect our weather going into the weekend and maybe even into next week as well. Spaghetti models generally they look pretty organized here and Jay commented on this earlier, but as we get into the weekend and into next week, they go all over the place. It literally looks like you throw spaghetti onto the map there. That's because it is going to be just moving and wandering around out here. There's not going to be a whole lot of clear direction at this point. And that's why we just need to watch it. One thing that does seem certain though is this cool front comes down on this weekend and that helps deflect it this direction at least through the weekend. Now that doesn't mean we aren't going to see some showers from it. We'll probably see some moisture from it cloud cover and I wouldn't be surprised to see some rain from it as well. There it is though as you can see there on Friday. Here comes our front on Friday into Saturday. It starts to turn but you've got that moisture coming up with it and riding over that front so we're likely going to see at least some shower activity from it. This is into Monday. Notice it's parked off the Gulf Coast of Texas sits there for a couple days, but then this front washes out and it actually starts to retreat back into the Gulf of Mexico. And that's when I think we really need to watch it because this will be by Wednesday into Thursday. This environment will be a little bit more conducive for organization. So we're going to be watching this thing for at least probably six to seven days. So that's what we're doing right now. Just watching it. Hurricane Teddy, by the way, now a major hurricane, the second major hurricane of the year. Got a well de developed eye. This is way out in the Atlantic, by the way. Forecasted to become a category four storm, head up towards the northwest, get very, very close to Bermuda. Possibly weaken though as it gets closer to Bermuda because of some cooler waters up here, but something they're certainly going to be watching very closely. Invest 98 out here in the deep Atlantic, south of the Cabo Verde Islands medium chance of development over the next couple of days. Way on out there too early to really speculate what it'll do, but right now it is not a threat to us. What we're going to be watching though is the cooler temperatures. Looking forward to that, but maybe a little bit of rainfall this weekend. It all depends on what Invest 90 does. Uh, soon to be a tropical depression or maybe tropical storm Wilfred. As we go into next week, also keeping an eye on that same system and the first day of fall starts on Tuesday.